Today I will discuss CSS, margin, border, and padding. These margin, border, and padding are often used in CSS. For example, like image, box, table, div, etc. So in this example, when we have a width is equal fifty pixel, padding one hundred pixel, border two twenty px. Solid red and margin is twenty px. So let's see what what does this mean. So let's see here. So you have text here. We define the width is the width of content. Then we have padding. This is the padding. After the padding, we have border. When we draw border, we normally Specify which color about the border, border color. Then outside the border, then we show the margin. So let's run this code here. So we have now we have a CSS box class here. We define width fifty px, padding one hundred, border twenty. We define the border color, and we define the margin. So here I use the tip, use this class box, demo of CS box. So let's run this to see what happen. Remember we have a width fifty pixel, padding one hundred. So you can see here. Now we have a content here. The width is fifty. The padding is here to this border. It's one hundred. Then we have border width only twenty, and the margin is the fifty. So you can uh, margin is twenty. Yeah, you can see here. So you can see here, margin is twenty here. This is the border twenty pixels here, red color. So let's go to another about CSS float. CSS float normally you can see CSS float tip or image. You can float left or right horizontally. So here if I said image float left. So image will flow as left as possible. Test will wrap around it. Will wrap around it. So let's see this example here. So we have a different style image, flow left. Then I have a text. First text is here. Then we have some image. For example, source is this is the pound reading JPG is here, and with a different fifty percent. I have another text here. So let's run this to see what happen. I expect image should be float as left as possible. Also, this text will be around it. So you can see here, this is text. This text, this image, float as left as possible. So in summary, I discuss CSS margin, border and padding, also with for box or image or table, also the flow. And we can quickly see. The idea of width, padding, border, and margin. Thanks for your watching.